One of the best and widely used programs is Adobe After Effects. It can do a variety of different things and it is able to generate a very good result for artists and studios across different industries. In this video, we'll take a look at After Effects, where it is used and some of the very important things it can offer to artists and content creators. Visual Effects for Film after Effects is a digital visual effects and compositing software, and it is actually used in post-production processes in filmmaking, video games, and television production. Among other things, After Effects can be used for keying, tracking, compositing, and animation. Even though it is not the best effects and post-production software, it is heavily relied on in the VFX industry by small and big VFX studios but the rate at which it is being used differs depending on the size of the studio and the size of projects. Big production studios use After Effects for some aspects of the production, but for the most part they use specialized 3D packages for visual effects and post-production software such as Nuke. After Effects is prominent in small studios because it is affordable and powerful at the same time, so it makes more sense for them. Motion Graphics and Commercials Adobe After Effects is industry standard in motion graphics and motion design because a good portion of studios and advertising agencies use it to work on different aspects of commercials due to the fact that it is very good and it has all the tools necessary to help motion graphics and effects artists to do their jobs successfully before the deadline. Generally speaking, it can be used to generate motion graphics that combine 2D and 3D elements from Adobe products such as Illustrator and lots of built-in effects. Social Media Content Another very important field where After Effects is heavily used is creating social media content. Since video represents a good portion of the content online, established and even new content creators like YouTubers sometimes want to take their production quality to the next level by using After Effects to create nice and entertaining effects, templates and lower thirds to keep the audience engaged and entertained. After Effects can also be used to create simple animations and effects in short animated clips online or to make YouTube videos explaining certain topics using the same methods. We have talked about who is using After Effects and where it is being used and now we're gonna discuss what we can do actually using After Effects and what it does offer to artists and designers. Compositing after Effects can be used for compositing to bring multiple assets together to create a finished scene. It can be used to work on VFX shots that may require a green screen plate, a background, some explosion elements, dust, and smoke, all to be composited into a single scene. Even though After Effects is good for composition work, it is currently used for the most part for average composition tasks. It is more likely to be used to do quick screen replacement for a product demo or blur out a logo using a 3D camera tracker. To composite 3D models and designs, we often perform multi-pass renders in which different elements will be composited together to create a final 3D image. This can be done using After Effects layers that can take on certain blending modes that affect the way the layers are interpreted with the footage behind it. Using Templates for Videos After Effects templates are pre-made project files that are designed with interchangeable elements. The high-quality templates are usually created by professional animators for people with little experience in After Effects. This is a huge time saver considering After Effects take years to master and those complex keyframes can be troublesome. With these ready-to-go templates, all we have to do is change the elements inside like photos, text, logos, and so on. An After Effects template is a customizable project file. Typically, when a motion designer is working on a project in After Effects, they will use a file structure that is not formatted for other people to customize it. In a typical project file, it is not uncommon to see unnamed elements confusing file structures. Templates, on the other hand, are labeled, well-organized, and easy to understand. It is also important to know that no two templates are the same, because After Effects professionals create libraries filled with several logo reveal templates, business promo templates, and everything else in between. 
A good After Effects template is designed in such a way that users can easily change text, colors, and design elements without needing to understand the complex file structures created by the motion graphic designer. Typically, a motion graphics designer will create compositions that allows us to simply drag and drop images on the footage inside and text fields that can be easily customized in a similar fashion to a text editor. Some After Effects templates are used to create entire finished videos while others are used to add in graphics to a video that's already been created. 2D Animation For those who work with vector characters, shapes, and motion graphics, After Effects is incredibly powerful and can be very quick. If you are familiar with the software and you want to learn animation with no prior experience, it is probably going to be a decent idea, but the learning curve can be steep, and the program itself is huge so it can feel a little bit like it is difficult to pick up for people who don't have experience using design and animation software. For traditional artists and those who do frame-by-frame -frame animation by hand or by tablet are using other software other than After Effects like Toon Boom, Harmony, or TV Paint because that's what they are specifically created to do. These programs can give you the versatility that After Effects has, and technically After Effects can do most of the things that these programs can do, but not as quickly, and it can be a struggle because you would have to juggle between drawing assets in Photoshop then importing them into After Effects for animation, but generally speaking After Effects is capable of doing animations nonetheless. Adding Effects after Effects has a vast effects library, there are literally hundreds of built-in effects that can be combined to create unlimited combinations of effects. There are a lot of different categories that do different things. There are effects for blur and color correction that can generate different looks for the final result. And there are a lot of simulation effects built in Adobe After Effects. These simulation effects can be used to create anything that can be simulated and they are highly customizable. Also, there are drag and drop effects that can be manipulated easily to create amazing looks and styles. Stylized effects in Adobe After Effects are useful for giving videos and layers styles that would have been very difficult otherwise. Designing Titles After Effects is usually used to create titles in movies, even some of the biggest Hollywood movies such as Marvel movies because it has diverse title design features. It is a fantastic program for creating perfect titles for any different video project. The title tool built in After Effects allows artists to manipulate and change settings like what we can find in text editing software. But After Effects is able to automatically animate letters, words, or lines depending on the project's needs. After Effects Plugins After Effects comes with a large bundle of plugins that cover everything from color correction, keying, particle generation, distortions, and much more. Its plugins can do many different things, but generally speaking, most plugins are about generating visual effects, like plugins that generate fire or water, because those effects are very hard to achieve manually. Some plugins replicate existing features, but with more control and quality, which is necessary sometimes to save time and energy, like masking and composition. Some generate complex selection based on the image, some may let you create complex paths for object movements and much more. You can also add third-party plugins as well. This might be a keen effect with more options, an advanced particle generator, or plugin that lets you bring 3D elements into your project. There are some good and average plugins out there, but the best ones are usually not free and can end up costing several hundreds of dollars. There are also old plugins that have been replaced by newer and better plugins and should not be needed in new projects. It exists now in the After Effects plugin library just in case those people with old projects that might need updating or for those older projects that still reference these effects. After Effects Learning Curve After Effects is not really hard as many people think it is. Probably the amazing things that it can do may give the impression that it is. But in fact, it is just like Photoshop or Illustrator, but the difference is working with videos. Of course, it is not as simple as that because there are many different things unique to After Effects. The great thing of working with After Effects is that it works seamlessly with other Adobe tools and allows you to import and work with native files from other pieces of Adobe software, including Photoshop, Illustrator, Character Animator, and Animate.
One easy way to get started with After Effects, if you are not already using it, is with Adobe Help Tutorials. They walk you through the basics and can help you get a better understanding of how to use After Effects versus the other Adobe software when working on video projects. If you want to learn, you can find answers online to anything you need to learn in After Effects on YouTube or just by doing a Google search. There are tons of good free and paid tutorials and courses, whether it be on YouTube or through video training websites. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.